morning. Very bright. Short. Is that wide? Is that wide enough for you? Look. Wait, that's the shot. Look at the train. Look, look at the ceiling. It's good though, what? isn't it? Okay, guys. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to vlog number 11. As I said in yesterday's video, I have no idea what I'm up to today, but Alfie has kind of given me a little bit of an update. So, I have my passport. We're currently at King's Cross, St Pancras, and we're heading to Paris. We've just had a breakfast in King's Cross. So basically, what's the aim? You, you break down what the aim is. I basically had this idea the other day. And I was sitting there and I'm like, wouldn't it be cool to have breakfast, lunch and dinner in three different countries all on the same day? And I thought, that's cool, that's fun, but that's quite easy because it's all planned and booked. So let's not plan or book any of it. So we've just had breakfast in London. We're currently about to get the Eurostar. It Which we haven't half even an hour. booked yet. We literally haven't booked the Eurostar yet. Leaves in half an hour. We're going to go to Paris and get lunch, go and see the Eiffel Tower. And then we have no idea where we're going. We don't know if we're going to get back. We don't know if we're going to drive somewhere. We don't know if yeah. we're going to get the plane somewhere else. We don't know if we're going to get the train somewhere else from Paris. And then also we have to get back tonight. It's going to be but fun. it would be good if we got on this train. Yeah, we need to go. We haven't got tickets. Okay, it's going to be a fun vlog. Let's go. We've got tickets, but we're getting rushed through business because we need to make sure. our train. By half term was the good oh, idea, wasn't it? We didn't know it was half term. Thank you so much for your help. Guys, we made it. Now we've got to get you to security. Okay guys, I think we're going to make it. The nice gentleman at the Eurostar ticket office rushed us through and we got it. Our oh, first we didn't location. Get rushed through. Yeah, we, we would have made failed. it. So how long have we got now? What time is it? Like no idea. We've got anyway, we've got like 10 boarding. minutes. Yeah, we, it's been boarding for a while, so let's go to Paris. See you later. See you in two hours. No. <laughs> Bye, Alfie. We made it to the bar. It's very, very packed, Eurostar. <laughs> Why? Is that wine? Yeah, wine. So we're just going to grab a drink. It's also very hot on here, but we're going to be in Paris in two hours. We may have just gone into the tunnel, actually. So yeah, two hours, Paris, lunch by the Eiffel Tower. It's snow. Oh, it's snow. That's what we need to find. That's the aim. We've decided we we're, trying to, we're trying to find snow. We got, we got our first bits of snow. I want to go. That's Whilst quite eating a lot. dinner, I want a snowball fight. So dinner outside, snowball fight. Maybe igloo. Okay, we need to have a serious think about where we're going now. Well, we need to look at where we can go from Paris. Yeah. So I don't know if you can get to something like that from Paris. <laughs> this is how packed it is. <laughs> this is the only seats that they had left. I've got discount. <laughs> Okay, we were chatting on the Eurostar about how one of the challenges for, day, to, for today should be to find snow. Well, we weren't expecting it to be absolutely snowing in Paris, so first challenge, done. done. I mean, look, it's proper. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's proper snowing. I cannot believe we're in Paris, just outside the train station. Now we need to get a taxi, snowing. get to the Eiffel Tower, get some lunch and then on to the next location. And it's gone. It's flipping freezing, we're so underprepared. Oh yeah, how big, how thick is your coat? Lucky you got this little like spring coat. Literally, is like a piece of paper. <laughs> your hair's snowy. Hi, how you doing Steve, yeah? Lunch time. Also, this guy in the Uber just recommended this cafe and said that it was his favorite place to eat, no? You know what? This is where me and Zoe were went. No. We Mate, Paris. have you seen this view here? Lunchtime. I'm gonna go for something very French. I'm gonna go for the croc madame. And behind me, which you can't see, but I'll show you in a minute, is the Eiffel Tower. So, good recommendation from the Uber driver. What's it called? The Castel. 
Cheers, bro. Hey. First leg of the journey complete. Lunch in Paris. The croque madame has arrived. When in Paris. We've finished uh, lunch now. We're now trying to figure out where the next destination oh is. And we can't decide, so Alfie's gone on Skyscanner. And what have you done? So you've typed in Paris to Today. literally anywhere. You've seen so all this these is, flights. This, this is the options that we've got. Look, how many? Bloody Uruguay. Uruguay. Uruguay, yeah. Uganda. We need, a, we need a shorter flight than that. Go to the top. We'll get back to you. We're going to decide where we're going to be going. Egypt. I've never seen the pyramids. Have you? No. Hey Siri. What's the weather like in Morocco? It's currently cloudy, 14 degrees Celsius in Rabat, Morocco. Expect rain starting in the afternoon, then cloudy sky tonight. Temperature heading down from 14 degrees to 11 degrees tonight. Is that warm enough for us? I don't know if we can ride camels in that weather, man. I don't think we can. We can't go swimming in the sea tomorrow morning in that weather. No. So maybe it's not Morocco. All right, we are still undecided on where to go. Our options at the moment are Casablanca, Morocco, Copenhagen. But there's unlimited options. Yeah, there are unlimited, but what we've kind of narrowed it down to are those two. We're just waiting to find out some more information and kind of work out flight times and stuff. Almost, <laughs> almost. Um, but we're gonna get, do a little kind of Instagram photo shoot right now. And then maybe just drive to the airport and kind of go from there and see what they've, what they've got there. Yeah. Stop snowing now though. It is epic though, isn't it? The aim is, is obviously to get the Eiffel Tower in the... <laughs> that was literally on the back of my head. <laughs> oh. All right, we've stopped off to do a little photo shoot with the Eiffel Tower right here. And then I think we're gonna head to the airport. <laughs> I think our time in Paris, unfortunately, is coming to an end. We've just done a little photo shoot um, with the Eiffel Tower. The lighting right now is next level. Like, I've never been to Paris. One, I've never been to Paris when it's been snowing. And two, it's um, Orly Airport. Sure? Yeah, we're just ordering an Uber to Orly Airport. Um, and two, I've never been to Paris when it's been lighting like this. Unbelievable. So yeah, we've been getting little shots of this guy here. The mission one is complete. Well, kind of mission two. We did breakfast, now we've done lunch in Paris, and now, we are heading to Orly Airport and we're gonna see where we can actually get to because you know we had Morocco in mind and we've had Copenhagen there's in no mind. Seats. But there's okay. there's been no seats and stuff and also Morocco is quite far. We're aiming to do this all in one day, so we'll see you at the airport. Au revoir. Okay, terminal one. Charles de Gard Airport, I think. We had a bit of a meltdown in the car though where we were going to Orly Airport and I think it was the wrong airport, so... Here we go guys, we have no idea where we're going yet. Merci, au revoir, au revoir. Are you ready for this? Let's go, we could be getting on a flight in like 20 oh, minutes. Oh man, actually we do need to go quite quick. Whoa! Whoa! Almost absolutely stacked it, almost absolutely right. stacked it. Okay, Parts. where do we want to go? Right, it's currently 6pm, 2 minutes to 6. So, okay, so we could go Stay. to Stockholm, 7.30. Munich, Stockholm. Beijing, Tokyo, Beijing, Athens. Athens, okay. So we're thinking that Stockholm is the flight where it takes the ticket desk right now, but SAS don't do tickets at the desk here, you can only book them online. Maybe we're gonna book it online or we're gonna see if there's any other airlines that go to Stockholm or around that area. No one's done anything like this. What are you saying? Yeah? Can you get it on there? Why well, SAS? I'm just gonna book it now on my phone. I think it's gonna happen though. I think we're gonna be flying somewhere. Scandinavian airline system. This is the time right now, 6.05. Alfie is trying to book the flight to Stockholm for half past seven. Oh. Trying to fran frantically do it online. Do you think we're gonna win? Bro. You got it? Worry. Oh, this is really exciting. I've actually never done anything like this before. Can't believe we're gonna be going to, going to Stockholm for dinner. You know that's nuts, right? We're literally going to Stockholm for dinner. Yeah. I think it's like, a four and a half hour flight. Not from here, shut up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I think it's two hours. I think it's two hours. Okay, we've got a flight, we've got a flight, we've got a flight. Stop it leaves in an hour and 20 minutes, we're going to Stockholm. What? We're literally going to Stockholm. Quick, yeah, quick. Right, bro, you know <laughs> book a reference, Self give service. that. What's the book of reference? What's the book of reference? U Y T. U Y T. Oh, my days, it's actually doing it. 
We're actually doing it. We're actually doing it. We're actually doing it. Okay, we're going. We're going to Who's this? Who's that? Booker Steven, Steven Booker. Guys, look at that. Give me that. There's my ticket right, to right, Stockholm. Where are we going, bro? Where are we going? Let's go. 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 Let's go.
so I don't know what option to select. We've tried a couple of restaurants and they've been totally closed, so maybe our only option is McDonald's, which we can't come all the way here and do that. Right, this might be our last option. Yes. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's resorted to Alfie drinking milk. <laughs> okay, so I don't think we're going to be able to get anywhere that is actually nice food because it's now, what time is it actually here? It's half past 11 here and I've just tried about four restaurants and nowhere is serving. Even the late night restaurants, they're all closed their kitchen. So our options are like cold sandwiches downstairs or somewhere like fast food, like a McDonald's or is there, there is this place called Max, which is like a fast food chain in Sweden. So, so my thinking with this is, when we set out to do this challenge, mm. we didn't say what kind of food we were eating. Three meals, three countries, one day. Yeah, we haven't had dinner yet. Yeah, we haven't, yeah. So if, that, if our dinner happens to be a max, then that's what our dinner is. Because we could just get a McDonald's and go and have an explore. My thought is we don't go McDonald's, we go Max. So yeah, we are going to Max, which I think is just like a real simple fast food kind of chain. Um, we're gonna go get a burger. We're not gonna hold back. We're gonna get what we want. It's obviously been quite a long day. And then, um, yeah, maybe back to the hotel. But I'm looking forward to sunrise. That's the great thing about arriving somewhere in the dark, because you kind of didn't really get a full idea of like what it looks like. I know there was a river and stuff. So I'm excited about tomorrow morning to wake up for sunrise and film that. But yeah, let's go get Max. So you're ready for the weather then, yeah? Oh, we're gonna go walk and get some food. What's Alfie's up? Alfie's literally in a hoodie. Look how cold it is outside. How cold is it? How, how cold do you think it is outside? We looked earlier, it's minus five. It's now minus six. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's minus fine. Minus six. Look, they've all got big coats on. Look, look, smart off. people. Us. <laughs> no. okay, we've just had the most crazy experience in Max. These guys all recognised Alfie as Zoella's boyfriend. Isn't oh, that so they nice? watched my videos as well. <laughs> Isn't that so nice they, of them? They love to bully me, say, what's it like having a girlfriend that's more famous than you? <laughs> I know, she came straight out with that. That was brilliant. Brings me. <laughs> Very nice, Billy. Nice. 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 Back at the hotel. Bro, we did it. Cheers, yeah. man. What did you just sit on? The tip. The tip. No, 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 you didn't. No, you didn't. I sat on the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Is it horridly in there? Yeah. Oh, it stinks, man. Why well, don't say that? Because I'm done now. Stinks of garlic. <laughs> All right, guys. I am about to show you a lie. Totally shattered. To the reason that Alfie said that is because I just said, "Oh, I'm gonna get up for sunrise and film, um, do a time lapse of sunrise." Okay, so I'm not the best morning person. All right. It's something that Alex and I have struggled with for 10 years because she is up at the crack of dawn and I struggle to get up in the morning. Anyway, I'm absolutely shattered. Today has been the most hectic day I've had in a very, very long time. It's been so much fun. I can't actually believe that we're in Stockholm, Sweden. Like, absolutely mental. Anyway, I'm actually gonna end this video tomorrow morning because we're gonna have a bit of an adventure around Sweden in the morning and just see what's around because we literally arrived at pitch black so we're gonna check it out so i'll see you guys in the morning I'm gonna get some sleep and let's do a little bit of sweden in the morning i don't know why i keep saying sweden stockholm in the morning good morning stockholm we're getting a coffee and some breakfast i'm gonna end the video here i'm gonna chuck in a few clips of stockholm but we basically long story short we slept in and we kind of missed all the time that we had so now we're just getting a quick breakfast and to the airport but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video um it's been we've got flights we've got flights it's been crazy i can't believe what we've done in the last 24 hours um yeah let us know 
what we should do next for the challenge. And um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for another video. I'm gonna obviously be vlogging from Stockholm anyway, so it will kind of carry on. So I'll see you tomorrow. Got anything to say? It was sick. It was good. It was very it? successful. Like it just shows you that it's possible to have a sick trip with no plans. You don't have to plan a year in advance. You don't have to do all of that. Like it's good to just do things randomly sometimes. Definitely. Definitely. Achievable. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Oh, also, I'm going to do question of the day. I'm going to do two in tomorrow's video because obviously this one has been a bit nuts. So, yeah, I'll see you back in London. Bye. Okay, I won't put it in. 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 Come on, come to the corner. No, I'm getting in my car. This lens massively warps people when they're on the edge of it. It doesn't do anything. Like, look, ready?